Hi, good day, welcome back. Long time. Well, sorry about the long time away. Uh, a number of things happened. A uh, number of things happened. Uh, I was traveling for work all of last week and I had very crappy um, internet access. I couldn't do anything. Um, so I couldn't make a video last week. Yeah, I've been, I was sick the previous weekend, so I uh, couldn't really do anything. Um, so anyway, um, I'm back now. And so let's continue um, with our HTML basic, um, well, no, we're now into intermediate, our HTML tutorial. And so the last video, we did introduction to tables and um, essentially created this table that you're seeing here. And I just want to wrap up tables a little bit. Um, remember, I'm not going to teach you everything you need to know about every element or every element, um, HTML element, because uh, I told you you can go and look up some of them, um, the other ones, so W3C school, you know, um, you have them all here, HTML reference, and you can go look up some of the elements. So I'm going to teach you some of them and give you the basic of just creating, give you, teach you some that we need to create some applications and so on, or the ones that are commonly used or commonly used or something like that. And then um, you can go and reference the ref, right? So I want to wrap up today with tables. And um, the only reason I'm going to spend a little bit more time with tables, because I think you have enough on tables already, to do quite a decent, you know, some decent things that we you know so far, you know, the header tag, table tag, you can make like a resume, for example, let's assume that, and maybe I'll actually show that today, how you can, so far I've been talking about, um, you know, making pages and stuff, and, you know, we've been looking at them through, um, maybe actually I shouldn't cover how to share pages, because that might just go and open a can of worms, but I should do that in a separate video, but that's all I focus on, yeah, let's do it that way, so anyway, so now you have enough that you can actually make, like take your resume, for example, and turn it into a web page, right? HTML, HTML page. So let's wrap up with table. So uh, this is where we left off last time, I think. And so let's use our Git and we'll commit the changes. Now, um, previously, um, I've been using the Git plugin here to commit changes and so on. But I'm going to do it today from the command line. So I'm going to do git stat status. And, uh, huh. oh no, I'm not in that directory. So I need to be in the chapter 1 directory, 0, 1 directory, um, what is it, um, tree, HTML directory. And I'm going to git status, uh, git status. And it says, so oh, intermediate has some changes that we, um, we didn't, um, you know, we need to, um, to get status. I'm using the fish terminal, by the way. Um, so, uh, thing. so, if I do uh, get add this directory and get status again. Um, tell me if I have a new file, which is index.html, okay? And so um, I'm going to git commit minus m, and then I'll do basic uh, table, HTML table usage, something like that. All right, so we've committed our changes. And if we go back here and, you know, uh, I think refresh it, you'll see it says it's clean, no changes. All right. So that's fine. All right, so let's um, now continue. So I'm going to copy all this and paste over it a table I've been working on so you don't have to waste time seeing me typing it. So I'm going to refresh. And so this table is slightly different than we had, we had before. Um, slightly different only in that uh, I removed the social security, last four digits social security number column, and I added a tree, replaced it with three columns, right? telephone home, telephone mobile, and telephone work. And so here they are. So let's say, and so you can create a stable, right? There's nothing new here compared to what we've done before. I just have three more columns, and, you know, replace the one I had before, but nothing new for what we've done, from what we've done before. But let's say we wanted to have one heading that spanned these three um, 
columns, right? Because these are, this is just telephone home, telephone mobile, telephone work. Suppose I just want to call these three columns across here, call, telephone, and then maybe I put something in here that says home, work, you know, mobile work, and so on. So, uh, and then if somebody doesn't have a field, then no big deal, right? But and it would be no big deal if they didn't have a field here too, right? We could leave it empty. Um, so let's just take out this, for example, and we should see, you know, that's empty is not a problem, right? So, um, but just to make our table look kind of nice, we'll, we'll put it back. All right. So, but what we want to do is change the editing. So there's something called column span. And so what we can say is we want, this is, let's call this column one, column two, column three, column three to span three columns. Why will column three span three columns? Because if this is the third column, it's going to span column this one, this one, and this one. Okay? So if it span two columns, it would span these two. Three columns, it would obviously span these three. So let's say that. Let's say the third column, which is first, second, so first column, second column, third column, which is this one that started with telephone home. We want this guy not to be telephone home. Ugh. Come on. We want this guy not to be telephone home, this third column to be, so I just see you raise the other two, column span, and I want it to span three columns. And you could see the effect over there already. I didn't have to save it or anything. I didn't have to save it and refresh it. I kind of just had to change it, but I just saved it and I refreshed. And you could see now I just have telephone as my third column, and because I said I wanted to try span three column, that's what I, what I get. All right? So if you don't put column span, you know, it just fills in as normal, but if you put column span, then yes, you have this. So what happens if I take out this? Well, if I take out that, if I save it and refresh, I don't have to refresh, you could see what's happened. Those is almost like these, the extra cells for each rows just don't have a corresponding column header. And that's exactly what we have here. We don't have a column header for it. But we put the span in there, they do, all right. So hopefully that's clear and that's not too hard to, to grasp. We can go with row spanning, right? We could say that so we want to put our, our headings here as the first column. So we have name, age, telephone, and then going across would be the value, the corresponding value. So it'd be first column is the name of the field or heading, and then the second column would be its value, right? And we could do it that way. So let's like, and create that table. So if we were creating that table, uh, the first row would be, you know, a name, and then it would be John Doe is uh, the, the next value. So that would form, come here, right? Then table row. Then you start another one, table row. And my, my formatting is a bit messed up. And you'd have age, right? Um, and this doesn't work well for multiple um, thing, but let's just say that's what we, that's exactly, this is what we wanted. We wanted to have the name. Let's see what we're looking like. It's gonna look a little confusing at first. We wanna have name and John Doe. Then we wanna have age and 33, right? So. Them. We'll take that, we put that here. And then let's just cut this out of here. And then in another row, we wanted to have this. Like I said, I just wanted to really demonstrate row spanning. That's why I'm doing this, right? So. All right, so bam. So this is what we have now. So let's see, refresh that, see. So there we have, we have name, John Doe, age, 33, and then telephone, and those are the three telephones, right? And let's just say we decided that oh, we, um, we wanted, uh, you know, the, uh, what did I say, the, 
to put yeah, we could put um, stuff in here like you know home and then mobile and work right so we could we could definitely do that <clears throat> okay so now what we want to do though is we, we say what we want is to have this row, this feed, this this cell here, span three rows. Okay, how do we get it to span three rows? Well, we say what we want instead is a row span, right, on this guy, and we want it to span three rows. So let's see what happens if we do this. Bam, table row. Uh, table row. And let's go take a look and see what we have. So we have telephone and a value there. And okay, so we have that. So, come on, uh, let me save my changes, refresh, all right, there we go, all right, so I got, I have what I want now, so because I said, I said that oh, this cell spans tree row, it's almost as if there's a empty value somehow being, for each row, there's some empty table data cell being reserved for this guy because it spans three rows. And then this becomes the, into the next, goes into the second column, right? Because this is, you guys said, this is reserving the first column in each row for the next rows, right? For the rows it, it's defined in. For the, so it's reserving a, the first column, a space in the first column here, a space in the first column here, a space in the first column here, and this becomes the second column's value. Even though you could see in this row, there's only one column value specified, right? But because this guy spans three, it kind of takes up, you know, the first of space. Does that make sense? I know it's kind of probably hard to explain that way, but it's literally spanning or expanding or stretches across um, thing. And let me see if there's a, a way for me to illustrate this. Um, if I, what if I did, did this way? Um, so... Um, Let's create a spreadsheet and I create a brand spreadsheet. And your table really look like a spreadsheet, okay? And so we had those cells before, you know, we had things going across here. And when we say span, what we're doing is expand, we, we're, we're, a row span, we're saying this cell, the value here, so let's say we had telephone here. We had telephone here. We say now that telephone spans three rows, right? So if it spans three rows, you can see it spans row two, three, and four. And here in um, these, in your spreadsheet, there's a way to specify this. You highlight the things you, the rows you want, and then you go to one of these format thing or something, and you say merge, right? You say merge those rows. So let's see if I have that here. Edit. And there's a way to say merge. Now it's in Excel. It says merge here in uh, you know Apple's uh, yeah merge cell. Okay. So now when I merge cell, you see what happened? It take out the line from in between. And so the only reason it doesn't show up properly is because this is not centered. But I could say align center. the thing that would tell me to align it to the center um, anyway so basically that's 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 the gist of it um, it's because I can't align center vertically that's why but if I could align center vertically then uh, you'd see that uh, yeah it, it's just taking that those trees um, thing and you could do the same thing going across here too I could put something 
here let's let's say um name or oh, telephone again and then i could tr select three columns this time and then i could say merge and now you see it took out the line and it's and it's, uh, it's treating it like one longer column okay that went across here there and there all right so i, I hope that kind of illustrate illustrates how to use uh let me click this how to use um column span and row span so we did just now a row span and prior to that we did a column span and you can go on w3c school and look at example for a table tag and how to do column span and row span and or you could just stop this type it play with it a little bit if it seems confusing to get a hang of it um Again, don't spend too, too much time on it because we're not going to use tables a whole lot, but it's nice to know, okay? All right, so, so that's tables, and I wanted to finish up with that, uh, and to, so we're done with tables. Um, any, any other funky things you can do with tables, we'll pick it up as we go. All right, thanks a lot for your time, and see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, before I go, let's, let's do this. Let's be a good citizen, and... Um, Commit our changes. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna say save it, and then I'll go to the command line and do git status, and then type in the stuff was modified, and I said git com um, add. I want to add the changes I've made to this file for this file today, and then I said git um, commit minus n for a message, and then I do um, add table and column column span and row span, right, uh, some stuff like that. And I do git status, uh, tell me I thought it's clean, and I do, do, do git log, and it show me um, all the changes I've made, all right, the history of them. So all right, so that's it. Uh, our stuff is all clean, and we're ready to move on. In the next video, uh, we'll start talking about diff tag and span tag and so on. All right, so, Talk to you later. See you. Bye.